Some new details on the reported talks between Uber and Expedia. Deirdre Bose has got that this morning. What a story, Dee. Hey, Carl, it is quite the story. So a source familiar with the matter tells me that there are no active discussions between Uber and Expedia. A third party did broach the idea, and the initial exploration of that deal was at the very earliest stages. The Financial Times first reported these details. But even if this deal is now unlikely, guys, it fits into an ambition that CEO Dara Khazra Shahi has held for years, and that is to build a super app similar to a WeChat in China that combines multiple products and services on one platform. Now, he's done that with Uber's core businesses, rideshare and delivery. They're now within one app. But he's also paired back other ambitions, like a financial services unit. It was called Uber Money. Now, in doing so, he's improved the unit economics and turned Uber into a profitable, cash flow generating, nearly $170 billion market cap company, which does give him the currency to go out and do deals. Expedia, though, would be the biggest deal that Uber has ever done by far. Under Khosrow Shahi, Uber acquired Postmates for almost $2.7 billion, Drizzly for $1 billion. More recently, he's been inking a number of partnerships with autonomous vehicle delivery and freight companies, including Waymo and Cruise. Some of them haven't always worked to Uber's advantage. Its large stake in Chinese ride-sharing company Didi led to a lot of volatility in its financial results. Shares dropped when it announced its partnership with Cruise. That was just about a month ago, which is Cruise still trying to earn back the trust of regulators and riders after a very high-profile San Francisco accident. The bigger long-term question, guys, that this idea should ask, should ponder for investors, is what happens to Uber if and when robo-taxis become mainstream and bypass the Uber platform or take market share away from traditional ride-sharing. Expedia would be a major way of diversifying further into the travel industry where Uber already plays. But I think you saw some softness in the stock because this is such a big deal and Uber has done a very good job in becoming profitable.